Oil pastels are a lot of fun to go and use, so let's go and draw this tropical scene. What you are going to need is you're going to need some sort of paper that is on the thicker side, has a little bit of texture, so maybe some cold pressed watercolor paper might work pretty well for you. We're going to go and tape down the sides with some artist tape. Artist tape is great because normally it will not go and peel your paper. Now we're going to start off at just about the center point with some yellow. Depending on the type of oil pastel that you have, it's either going to draw kind of like this or have a lot more oily texture to it, and those are a lot easier to go and spread. But this is normally for what you would say mid-range art supplies would be. So now just a slight amount up from where the yellow is. Now you're going to go and put a small line of red, and then at the top we're going to go and use a darker blue. Our goal for this upper portion is to make it look like the sun is setting. So after you have all of that color down, you're going to go and blend it with your finger, if you've ever used charcoals, it's pretty much the same exact thing that you would do with charcoals, and you can blend it almost the same exact way. So after that is pretty well blended, which again, I'm not using the most expensive oil pastels. These ones, I would say again, are on the medium range. So they do spread pretty well, but they don't spread like a lot of the other really oily ones. Now for the bottom, I'm going to be using a lighter blue, and this is just going to be the base coat of this here. You really do want to have this almost centered on where this piece of paper is. Try not to go and overlap a lot of the yellow with the blue because you're going to go and create kind of a green that's in the middle. Now it doesn't look bad, but you do kind of want to keep that lighter color up there and the darker color towards the bottom for where the water is. Now just go and blend out the blue. Use your finger, of course. And after that is blended out, which makes sure to get that center point. You can kind of see it did create a bit of a darker green there, which is fine, it doesn't look bad. Now we're going to go back over it with some darker blue, and this is going to be just very lightly at the edges starting off. Go back into the center with a white pastel. This is going to be kind of where you would have some of the light, and now we're going to go back again with some of the lighter blue just to go and blend everything together. Now in the center, we're going to go and take a metal tool and take some of the white pastel. Now while we're doing this, we're going to go and have some raised areas of where this white pastel is. You do want to blend it slightly, but you don't want to over blend into the blue. This area is kind of along the lines of where light would actually end up hitting water, so keep that in mind. Now after you have that down, we're going to go back up to the top, use the white pastel to go and blend everything, take a black pastel, draw a very small little island on the horizon there, this is going to be a silhouette, so it doesn't have to be anything other than just using the black pastel. Draw two little lines that go up a small amount, and now we're going to go and draw some leaves. It's a great idea to have a reference of a palm tree, or maybe if you want to go and put some other trees onto your tropical island, think of what other trees might grow in that climate. Now as we're making these trees, a palm tree is pretty easy to go and make. You just put one line down, and then a couple little squiggles that are at the edges. Now at the side here, I'm also putting another tree. Again, you don't have to go and do this. You could always find a different tree that you want to do, or maybe you could just put some grass, whatever you really wanted to do. Now I am using a metal sculpting tool to go and create lines and remove some of the pastel from where I have these palm trees down. I'm just putting little lines where some of the leaves are and also at the side of the trees. Now it's time to go and take off the tape. Take the tape off nice and slow. Usually artist tape will not go and leave any residue or rip the paper, but in chances that you take it off kinda too fast, you might possibly have a little bit of paper taken off. Now here is what the drawing looks like. And honestly, I love how this turned out. It's really pretty and it reminds me of going to the ocean. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There are more tutorials that you can find over on my profile. Until next time, take care.